Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. Hope you guys are doing good and hope your tanks are doing good as well. Today is a very, very special day. This is the first video and the first time that I'm out in the world filming and creating a brand new video with my Panasonic S1H. As promised, all the profits from the Black Friday sale went towards buying a new camera and the camera I chose was the Panasonic S1H. For those of you that aren't aware of what this camera is and what it can do, let me just tell you really quick before we dive into what this video is actually about. And if you have no interest in these types of things, well, you can just skip ahead. So the Panasonic S1H is basically a cinema camera in a mirrorless camera body. It's like a hybrid system, as most people are calling these types of cameras nowadays. Um, it's a camera that can film in 6K, which is unbelievable. Uh, it has a bunch of professional features that uh, give the creator the tools that they need to get accurate focus and exposure and things like that. And not to mention there are what seems like an unlimited amount of recording modes and, and styles and it is, it's crazy the things that you can do with this camera. It's, it's unlike any camera that I've ever owned in my entire life. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. The Black Friday sale generated a little over $5,000 in profits. And this camera combined with the memory card, which was $200 or SD card, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the lens, the lens was $900. And the camera body alone is $4,000. And I had to buy a new tripod just to support the weight of this camera because it is very, very heavy uh, paired with the lens. So altogether, I spent a little over 5000 I even had to spend a little bit of my own money, uh, not just the profits from the Black Friday sale. But as promised, I bought a new camera for the channel, and from here on out, you can expect nothing but the best video quality, the best audio quality, and everything that comes along with using a camera of this kind. I must have went back and forth a million times between so many different cameras. I was considering buying a regular camcorder, I was considering just buying a, a, a regular mirrorless camera uh, and then I discovered cinema cameras and then I, I thought okay well maybe I should buy this but to, to be honest I was so tired of using DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and having to buy all the accessories and things like that I just wanted like an all-in-one system so my original plan was to buy a camcorder and the one I was going to buy was the JVC GYHC 4000 it's a broadcast type camcorder that films in 422 10-bit ProRes which is a really high quality codec or whatever you call that I'm, I'm trying to act like I know everything but I'm still learning so my apologies if I get the wording wrong for some of these things it seemed like a great camera but when I saw some sample videos of it on YouTube I was just like what this is all we're getting for four thousand dollars because yeah while the camera was cheaper the video quality just didn't seem to justify the price. So being the type of person that I am, I'm not going to settle for having all of the features that a camera person or YouTuber would need into one, one system and having to sacrifice on video quality. I wasn't going to do that. Instead, I was going to opt for a camera that had much better video quality, but it would be a little bit more work in regards to, you know, all the things I would have to buy um, to to turn it into a professional video camera as far as audio uh, inputs and you know just accessories in general there's there's a lot of accessories that you can buy for a mirrorless camera you can basically build a, a rig you know you can buy a little monitor a cage that surrounds the camera body of course you can buy microphones I'm using a shotgun microphone right now there's there's a lot of accessories you can buy um, so I chose the cinema camera and yes I am calling it a cinema camera some people may disagree with me and call it a mirrorless camera or a hybrid camera but to be quite honest we really don't even know what to call this type of system because at the end of the day this camera body and the style that this camera is it was originally intended to be a stills camera it really wasn't intended to be a video camera so I'm choosing it to call I'm choosing to call it a cinema camera just because the the, the quality that it can record at and all the potential that, that, that somebody has using this camera, you can definitely use it as an A camera on a cinema 
movie shoot. You know, I really believe you can. And people have already done that. And in fact, Netflix has even added this camera to its approved list. If you own a camera that's on the Netflix approved list, that's huge. That basically means you can go out, film a documentary, film a movie, whatever you want, and put it together, edit it, whatever, and submit it to Netflix, and they could possibly, possibly air it on their platform. You can't do that with every camera. You can't do that with an iPhone. You can't do that with a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that with every camera. You can only do it with the cameras that are typically on the Netflix approved list. With everything that this camera is capable of, I'll be able to do so much for this channel. I can make my own documentary. I can, I can make the best quality YouTube videos. I can do so much with this camera and I'm going to do just that. I have so many videos planned for this channel and so many videos planned to film with this camera. I'm calling up fish stores to make videos at fish stores. I'm probably going to be traveling throughout the country to visit different places that, that are involved in the aquatic industry. I'm going to do so much. And most of all, a lot of you guys ask me all the time, you, you ask me, Jacob, when are you going to visit uh, an aquarium convention? I never see you at these things. Well, the reason why is because I'm a really busy guy. I'm the only one that runs my business. There's no one else here to run it for me. So when I'm gone, things don't get done. And with people placing orders every single day, there's a lot to be done all the time. But I really, really want to put this camera to work. I really want to justify the, the, the purchasing of a $5,000 camera. And I want to get out there and make some amazing content for you guys. So I'm going to do just that. So stay tuned because there is so much more to come on Jacob's Aquarium and I hope you guys enjoy all the future videos that I'll be creating with this amazing camera. So without further ado, let's get to the main topic of this video. One of the greatest things about being a YouTuber and a business owner in this industry is that you get to meet and talk to so many different people. So many different people from all types of backgrounds and uh, experience levels as well. And that means they ask a lot of questions and a lot of interesting questions, but all those questions are just more video ideas for me. So recently I had a customer that purchased some jungle valve from me and he was kind of confused because the jungle valve he got, which by the way was called jungle red, so when you buy it, you probably assume it's going to be red. But when he got it in the mail, it was actually green. So he thought he got the wrong plant. And yes, we've talked about how the color of a plant can be different if it's immersed grown or submerged grown. We've already talked about all that. There's no, there's no, no question about that. But the thing is, this jungle valve was not grown immersed. It wasn't red because it didn't receive a lot of light. And I really think that lighting is something that goes overlooked with people that are new to the hobby. Because while it is possible to put a bunch of beginner plants in a tank and put just a basic you know, lighting system over the tank and the plants will grow, not necessarily will you get the color that you originally bought the plants for. So the Jungle Val Red that I have typically arrives here at the nursery in a green color. And my guess is that it's just not getting a lot of light where it's grown at my wholesalers. But when I receive it in the mail from my wholesaler and I put it in the pond and it's under some gorgeous Southern California uh, sun for uh, about maybe two weeks, it turns a really nice red color for me. So if you buy a plant that's labeled as a red color plant or it has the potential of being a red color plant or a dark green plant or maybe a, a bright yellow plant, a golden type plant, if it's anything other than light green, <laughs> uh, just know that if it's not under the right lighting conditions, you won't get the full potential, full you know, uh, range of colors that this plant is or that plant is capable of. So I really want to give a big thank you to the customer that sent me that email and I hope my response, not only in this video but in, in my email response, I hope it helped you understand the differences between uh, you know, the type of lighting the plant gets and the color you can expect to get out of a plant based on the lighting it's under. Um, and I hope this video helps you out as well. And for everybody that's new to the hobby and that's watching this video, I hope I was a little bit of, a, a little bit of help. And now you guys know that, um, you know, if you buy a plant that has the potential of being really colorful, you know, you got to put it under the right light. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And a huge thank you to all my customers that bought plants on my Black Friday sale. It means so much to me. You guys gave me the ability to buy this amazing camera. And like I said, stay tuned because I got a lot more videos to come on this channel, okay? Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All my social media links will be in the description below. And if you're interested in the plant that we talked about in this video or any of the plants pretty much that I've talked about on my channel for the longest time, <laughs> you visit my website, jacobsaquarium.com, where I sell almost 100 different species of aquatic plants all at the most affordable price. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Have fun with your tanks, and I'll see you next time.